In this video, I'm going to show you how to boot your Raspberry Pi B 3 Plus from a USB thumb drive, as well as how to use Noobs to install Raspbian onto a USB drive. Here's how you make a bootable USB thumb drive for your Raspberry Pi. First, download the Etcher application from etcher.io. Etcher is available for both Mac and Windows. Second, download the Raspbian image from raspberrypi.org. I'm downloading Raspbian Lite for a command line only environment. While the Raspbian image is downloading, let's install Etcher. On a Mac, just double click on the DMG and drag Etcher to the Applications folder. Once Raspbian is finished downloading, extract the image file. Then launch Etcher. Select the Raspbian image, the USB thumb drive, and click Flash. Once the verification process is completed, take the thumb drive from your computer and insert it into your Raspberry Pi. Remove the SD card, if present, and connect power. The Raspberry Pi will now boot from the USB thumb drive. If you prefer to use the Noobs installer, you will still be booting off of the micro SD card, but your operating system will be installed on the USB drive. This means you will need the micro SD card and the USB drive both connected to your Raspberry Pi for it to work. First, download the SD Formatter software from the SD Association's website. Next, install the SD Formatter software. Insert the SD card into your computer and launch SD Formatter. Now, format the SD card. Now we download Noobs from raspberrypi.org. You can download either the full or light version of Noobs, but remember the light version requires that the Raspberry Pi have a network connection in order to install the operating system. Once the download has completed, extract the files and copy them to your SD card. Eject the card from your computer and insert the card into the Raspberry Pi. Also be sure to insert the USB thumb drive as well, then connect power. Now connect the Raspberry Pi to Wi-Fi, select the operating system you want to install, and at the bottom, choose the USB drive as the installation destination. Click Install, and once finished, the Raspberry Pi will be ready to go. Well, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you've not already subscribed, please do as there will be more Raspberry Pi projects coming soon.